What's up guys, the name's Gwen. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun playing the Druid and Dungeonborn, so I wanted to make you guys a beginner's guide to kind of show you some of the things that I've learned, and hopefully they help you out too. So let, let's just read the abilities right now, because I feel like a lot of people just, just don't read shit. And there's so much information to, to read, obviously. All right, your Q, turn you into a panther. This has no cost, barely any cooldown. Um, so don't be afraid to go in and out of panther form, and you are faster in your panther form. So if you're just moving, or especially running or chasing someone, just switch to panther. Uh, you do need to switch out, though, if you want to interact with anything or cast any spells. Um, auto attacks and pounces that do damage. Uh, restore your primal energy, which is the druid's resource. Uh, now the tree, the tree is the, the, the fun thing here. So the tree, summon it, lasts for 30 seconds, it attacks people, uh, it does 88 damage, um, plus whatever modifiers, it usually comes out to like 100 or something, I don't know what the calculations for that are. Um, but here's the key thing, that after you do a tiger, a panther pounce, meow, um, it automatically makes your tree attack that, whatever you hit again, a second time. So the tree has a very slow attack speed, it's gonna be like, summoned, smack! and then wait again. Smack! So, you know, if we're trying to uh, maximize DPS there, uh, we can wait for it to, to do a smack, and then do our Tiger Pounce, and um, it'll do another smack immediately. Or what I like to do, um, which you might see in gameplay clips if I get a good one, um, I'll summon the tree, immediately switch to Panther, and then Pounce, um, because that's still making the tree attack um, at the beginning of its windup, so you're not losing too much DPS there. Um, and the tree also, when it hits you, it gives you a shield. So you can hop in, make the tree smack, you get a little bit of a shield buffer for any damage you might take in return, and then you can just either run or pounce back out to, uh, to reset. Because although you're getting a shield, it is not a whole lot, um, and we're, we're generally still a little squishy, is how I feel. Um, in terms of passives, make sure you read all these. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. Um, this one is the one that I think is, is probably the best, just from my experience, or just from th thought process in general. Um, once we get to 45 will, we get an additional charge of the tree. So previously, if your tree is, is smacking, it's doing 100 damage, giving you 100 shield. Now you double that, and then you're also resetting with the Tiger Pounds appropriately. Not only are you doubling the first pounds, if you're doing a full four hits... You're, you're essentially quadrupling your damage then instead of just uh, an extra double, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Alright, so I'm going to go into this raw. I'm just, I'm just going to raw dog it. Uh, we're going to use our just our base inventory. Alright, so uh, here's some things to look out for um, in the gameplay coming up. And also for the next run, I did it out of order, but it'll make sense later. Um, I put on enough will to see the double tree in action. So um, stuff to look out for in the next little bit I show you clearing. Um... Your tree is very squishy. Uh, the Tiger Pounce resets the tree's auto attack. And honestly, when I'm clearing most of the time, I'm just using my um, weapon's basic attacks, the basic LMBs. And you do damage your tree, so watch out. You can't tree Lightning Bolt. You're just killing your tree. So as you guys saw, uh, I'm level 11 right now. So it's not even like I've played Druid like forever, you know? But I, I picked up a few things over the last couple of days. Um, and I did play a lot of Dark and Darker. And I'm familiar with this style of game, so I feel like I at least have some level of grasp that I can, like, reasonably show you guys a thing or two, you know? So, first thing, obviously, like, our tree is some... It's AoE, but honestly, this thing's squishy as fuck. Like, if I just spawn this on her and she starts attacking it, this is gonna get, like, two-shot. Look at that. That took one, one ghoul attack and then one, one melee attack from this guy, so, like... You honestly have to be careful with how you're using your tree to clear, and honestly, if I'm like uh, just trying to clear a room like this, I'm just gonna use the staff's basic attack. Now, one thing the tree does as well, though, which is nice, is it'll do an, uh, an immediate attack if you pounce on it with your panther. So let's see if I can show you guys this. So the tree has a fair bit of delay, but if we do this, it's going to immediately uh, pounce down on top of it, or I'm going to pounce, the tree's going to immediately attack, and then it's going to go back to its regular cadence. So there, you can see, even though I was like kind of at the end of its attack animation, it's still um, wound back up to, to smack down, you know? Nice. So now, also, you'll see at the bottom of the screen... Uh, I'm getting shield for every hit uh, that the tree hits me as well. 
Oh, one thing that's important as well. Uh, as a druid, we do not use mana. Uh, in skeletons, they use, like, soul energy. Other spellcasters use mana. Um, we use, uh, what, primal energy, I think it's called? Yeah, primal energy. So that's, the, that's your purple resource bar at the bottom. I'll show you how much one attack restores. There you go. Honestly, it's a fair bit. That's a, ouch. It's honestly a good about a uh, good bit of energy that restores. But just keep that in mind. If you're like chugging uh, mana potions or something, eh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, also, tree does take friendly fire, so you can't tree and then lightning bolt because you are just gonna kill your tree, which is obviously not very pog. All right, so we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna double tree here. As you can see, there's like a five second cooldown, so let's be careful about that. There's a nice little double smack we saw. That tree's already dead. Again, it can't really tank anything. Or if I leave it to uh, without me taking the aggro, it's just gonna it's just gonna die. Your pounce is very responsive, so you can see we just now use that to dodge uh, an attack from the sword man there. There is also a uh, a falling auto attack, which you can see me using here. So instead of stopping to auto attack like that, um, if we jump and auto, we're not losing any momentum or anything, or it's not locking us into the, to, into that spot. Where's the tree behind him? There we go. Nice little double pounce there. So even though that guy hit me with the sword, uh, I got two shields on me, and really that wasn't that bad. Good smack. See, that's the difference between having a tree taking aggro and not. Oh, can hear someone hitting a base over there. Oh, there he is. Okay, now here's the thing, y'all. I don't know how this fight works. I have not one v one'd. Um, what the fuck are these guys? Blade Mancer, Sword Mancer, or something? So I mean, he he's down there in the uh, in the shadows, right? Yeah, he sees me. Um, I definitely want my lightning to be up though if I'm gonna try to attack this guy. So disclaimer, he might shit on me. Um, but if he does, it's for educational purposes, you know. I don't even entirely know what his class does. He can spin blades around him, um, and he can also shoot them. I know that. I definitely want to try it, though. We're not going to let him go, that's for sure. Oh, there you go. That's good chip damage right there. All right, now we can go in. Oh, he's also backed into a corner right here. Let's see what he does with the tree. Wait, if he's gonna fight in the trees... Wait, is he gonna fight in the trees? Oh, he's not. Oh, look, I've been countered. I feel like fucking Alawi. We're gonna lead him with that. Nice. Well, if he's going to keep running, who knows how many pots he has? I don't. All right, so I'm just going to talk over this clip and speed it up because uh, th th this this fight went on for so fucking long. Um, where is it? Speed. Faster. Okay. Did that work? I said faster. Nice. Nope, we're going to go faster than that. All right, so this, this fight went on for a very long time. So I, I have not fought this person before. I have not played this class, so I wasn't sure exactly... Uh, what its strengths and weaknesses are. Uh, I've played against it, so I know it can uh, spin swords. I'm pretty sure, actually, he didn't even use the spinning sword things. I guess this isn't a sword man. I just realized uh, he's not even a, a blade dance, whatever the class is called. But he also didn't use his spin, so he's not a war. I don't know. If any of y'all know what class this guy was, 
but anyway, so I didn't even know what class he was, so I was being very cautious with this fight. Um, you can see me using the Panther form to run around, and I'm auto attacking to recharge the primal energy, um, just to make sure I, uh, to make sure I have enough uh, energy for any of the jumps that I need to do. Whether he gets too close, or if I fuck up my positioning, or to stay on top of him to try to stop him from uh, from uh, potting or anything, you know. So, but pretty much my cycle here was just kite him out. Uh, wait for my um, auto attacks to recharge. You can see my um, my ice trail to slow him down, and then my lightning strike to uh, hit him. You can see here I try to get some pounces off with the tree to reset, and I ended up hitting a few auto attacks. But um, let me make this smaller so you guys can see my health at the bottom. Oh, it might be cut off. Sorry. Um, but I'm not even taking too much damage right here. I think I get to like half health this whole fight. Um, but especially if I'm fighting in those trees, if he's stupid enough to do that. Um, 100 damage from the tree plus 100 shield to me um, per hit is is pretty crazy. Now, it does have, like, at the beginning of the clip, you heard me mention, like, a Lowry syndrome. Like, if you're playing against this, all you have to do is walk away from the tree. I, I have, no, me as a druid, I have no way to keep you in the tree. So it's more like uh, anti-dive, like, dis, it's like dissuading if you're trying to dive me or run at me that you have to then go through the trees as well. Um, but if I'm trying to use it aggressively, just fucking walk away, bro. Um, so this started taking a very long time, and I think I realized this guy is just terrified. So I just started being a little more aggressive here, um, trying to get further in. So we're going to see slow him, use lightning strikes. Um, I just used both there, even though I knew he wasn't slowed anymore, just because I have so much time to recharge these, because he's he has no way to get on top of me. The panther's so fast, you know? So at this point, he's like, I'm not even trying to fight this anymore. And I'm like, all right, I need to run back over to him. So here you can see we, though... Um, so, like, all right, you can, all right, you can see at the very, very, very bottom here. So I just took a hit from his sword. Um, once this, so you can see my health is still pretty much full there, though. Oh, you guys can't see it. Fuck. Hold on. Oh, bugger. All right, that's an issue with my display. There, I pulled it up just for you guys right now. Anyway, my health is still full, is what I'm saying here. Um, so getting shield from both of my trees hitting, and then at this point, I'm like, all right. I'm just going to panther jump on this guy. I'm going to leap, do an auto attack, back away. Leap. Try to do an auto attack. I mean, he has his potion out right here, though, so obviously I'm just going to keep hitting him. But I started changing that into my more aggressive thing, where I'm going to leap, auto attack, back away. Leap, auto attack, back away. Um, make sure I'm still respecting his melee damage, but otherwise just fuck this guy, you know? And then leap, auto attack, back away. And like poetry, the tree does the final hit to him. There we go. Well, guys, that took... I don't know how long that took, but that was my first time uh, fighting a Blademancer guy like that. Um, just as little old me. So I'm going to say that was very educational. Let's get the fuck out of here now, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, that was <laughs> that was such a long fight. <laughs> I think I gave him too much respect, honestly. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful and you learned a few things. If you have any other questions or if you disagreed on anything or have any other druidy opinions, let me know in the comments and I'd love to yap about it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the dungeons.